What's up, world? <laughs> Lee here with Sticks, Strings, and Other Things, my tiny little corner of the internet where I come to you every other week and chit chat with you about all of the crafty things that I have been getting my hands into. First off, you can also find me on Instagram as Kilrain. I'll spell it down here. And yeah, you can find me on Ravelry too, but I'm not hardly there anymore. This is episode 30, and I'm filming this on January 11th, 2022. Yes, people, we have made it to 2022. Amazing. I want to thank everyone who's here watching today. Um, I have several, several new um, subscribers, so welcome. I hope you enjoy, and uh, welcome back to everyone who has subscribed before. I hope we all have an enjoyable year. Now, I have not done an actual floss tube episode since November, because during December I was doing Flossmas, Vlogmas, Hola Vlog, daily things, and then my whip parade. So I have a lot more here than normal. I also have very dirty glasses. Um, later on in personal life chit chat at the end of this, I'll explain why things are a little, why things are a little, we'll just leave it at that for now. I do have some tea right here. A very nice and pleasant Earl Grey cream. Coming to you from the Pacific Northwest where it is wet. Very, very wet. Very wet. <laughs> and I'm hoping I can get this all filmed today without needing a nap. Right. Let's get into the good stuff. I have a fully finished object. What? What? Me? Yeah. Yeah. If, if you watched my Flossmas, you'll have seen it. But I totally do not expect people who have done that because there was a lot of stuff going on. A lot of people doing those. I do not expect people to have seen it. So I'm going to show it on a regular episode today. I did Hands-On Designs Christmas Cookie Exchange. And not only did I finish the stitching, I finished the finish. Yeah, look at that. I know! I know. I fully finished a thing. I, I, I also am in shock. I am shook. This was tons of fun. The finishing is so not perfect. <laughs> so very not perfect. Do not look closely. If you can see the mistakes from the back of a galloping horse, you're looking too closely. That said, I am absolutely in love with this and I fully finished it and I enjoyed it. Um, hopefully this will lead me to more finishes. I don't know. I, I have no clue, but I, I'm very proud of it. I'm very happy. I followed all the directions because I, I needed them. It was fun. And I finished it, and it's delightful. The next thing that I have as a finished object is from knitting. That That is my only fully finished thing for a cross stitch. I did finish my... Cozy Knitter 24 Stripe Socks. So I was doing a stripe of these a day during Christmas, during, during December. I did um, an afterthought heel and contrast color toe and 24 stripes. And I did finish these in time to wear them on New Year's. I did not finish them for, for Christmas. That just didn't happen. But that's okay. I loved these. They were so much fun. I could not find my sock blockers, which is why they are not on sock blockers. They were a delight, and I will so be looking forward to buying 2022's Cozy Knitter 24 Stripe Sock, because this was fun, and I really enjoyed it. So I finished those. Delightful. In other finished objects of knitting, I have several things, but they were all gifts, <laughs> and the people that they were gifted to then took them when after I after I gifted them they, they took them and, and took them home as they should have because they were gifts 
so I have nothing to show. But I made several hats. Many, many hats. So many hats. Which, conveniently, was very handy because we had a very cold and snowy Christmas this year in the Pacific Northwest. And my hats were immediately used. It, it was perfect timing. It was great. It was glorious. I loved it. But I have several hats. Ah, did I take photos? No. No, 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 no. Whoa, why would I do that? Many, many hats were made. Many, many hats were gifted. Many hats kept many heads warm. And this made me very happy. But nothing to show. Then on to more cross stitch finishes. This was in the nice list box, box from the Black Needle Society. It is a chart from Park Hopper Bart on the called for um, fabric and threads. They suggested that you only stitch on it during snow days and I said, oh, it'll never get done. Look, it's done. It's completely done. Done, done, done. You may not be able to tell, but all the white is etoile, as is the hat, and he is a very adorable. I did him only on snow days, and I finished him, because we had a snowy, snowy, snowy time, <laughs> and it was fun. Very cute. No clue what I'm going to do with it, but I did finish it, so hooray. And then there was my 24-7 piece that I was working on. I finished my Christmas mice. This was called Christmas Tea by Brenda Gervais. I did it on a 40 count. I have no clue what fabric. Um, I think it's Picture This Plus Fog, actually. And I just used an assortment of Vicki Clayton's hand-dyed silks. And I finished that up for my 25-7. Loved it. So delightful. Oh, this extra fabric I should probably cut off. Don't you think? I think I should. Did I finish anything else? Um, ah yes, my other 24-7 that I finished before I moved on to that one because, you know, we're not going to do things in the right order. I finished, um, Mary Harry 1808, yes, 1808 by Modern Folk Embroidery. Um, this was the kit that Evertote did with Modern Folk Embroidery earlier this year. So I bought the kit and I finished it recently, um, by doing the 24-7 thing. I love 24-7. I'm loving it a lot. 24 minutes a day, seven days a week, you get stuff done. And this is another one that I finished and I love it. I love how delicate it is and I very much did enjoy the little eyelet letters there. Right. So this one was done before the Christmas tea, but what have you. Right. Those are all of my finishes. Yay. It was delightful. I, I felt very successful in my finishes this year, or in, in December. I, I, I felt very accomplished. It was wonderful. And then we have the whips. Let's see. I'm not sure the easiest way to do this. I think I will start with my New Year New Start. And there's kind of a funny story behind this one. So my sister was up here visiting over the holiday. My sister is also a stitcher. So we got to talk stitching and it was fabulous and I wish she lived closer because it would be wonderful to have someone right nearby that I could chit chat stitching with. But there was a funny thing. You see, I live in Washington State, Pacific Northwest. My sister lives in New Mexico. During Christmas, one of the gifts she gave me was, yes, the Gayron Toten Bag Washington Bag. Do you want to know what I gave my sister for Christmas? The Gayron Toten Bag New Mexico Bag. <laughs> it was hilarious. It just, I mean, we're sisters. We are obviously sisters and it was so freaking delightful. <laughs> so what is living in my Gayron Toten Washington Bag? Well, my Modern Folk Embroidery 2022 Mystery Stitch Along. I am using Ymir's Almond m &Ms Silk. So I have that all caked up. I am doing it on some 40 count Sassy's Fabbies in the color Tawny Buff. I don't even think Sassy's Fabbies exists anymore, but um, they used to, and I bought it back then, and I, it's a full yard. So that is January. 
So I have finished the January bit and I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving this piece. It is so pretty and it is so fun to work on and I cannot wait till February where I can get boop, boop, the next piece. So I think <clears throat> I have more than enough fabric, <laughs> but I'm loving this. I am just, I just, oh, I am absolutely adoring this. So on the first, on, on, on New Year's Day, this was my start. And my plan is to keep up to date with it. I mean, isn't that the plan for everybody when they start a stitch along? Keep up to date. But if it is as enjoyable as January's, and I do not see why it would not be, I do not see a problem with me keeping up to date on it. Love it so much. It's so much fun. And Ymir's silks are heaven. They are just oh, so delightful. Um, this was the colorway Raven. It is her black. Love it. Love it. Love it. So that was my New Year New Start. And it is finished for now because I have finished January's part. I cannot do February's part until, well, February. So shall we move on to another stitch along that I'm working on? I think we should. It's living in this lovely spooky bag. Upside down. Lovely spooky bag. What's in here, you ask? The Witchy Stitchers Cryptid Cell. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Am I up to date on the Cryptid Cell? Oh yes. Oh yes, I am. And... I got a Kraken! I got the Kraken! Look at that! I was ridiculously happy with this last release, which was the bloody Kraken. I have been wanting the Kraken. If you've watched before, you've noticed. I have said, I think since the very first day, I really want a Kraken! I really want a Kraken! I got my Kraken! I am happy. I have my Kraken. Yay! And it was such a fun thing to stitch. I mean, look at him! Look at the Kraken! He is so cool. Love him. Love him, love him, love him, love him, love him. I am still ridiculously happy with this piece. As you can see, there are only three pieces left and I am still up to date. I am just chuffed. Just absolutely chuffed with this piece. It, it's just, it, it is glorious and fun. I'm using the Called for DMCs. This is on a 32 count Burnt Papyrus by Sugar, Ma Sugar Maple Fabrics. They are no longer in business. But I felt that this piece was just, oh god, my arm. Um, I felt that this piece was just really, really appropriate for, for all these cryptids, and I still feel that way. Right. Don't mind me, just a little tired. It's all good. What else have I worked on? I have, well, I'm doing, I'm doing Whipgo this year, and um, one of, um, one of my numbers, one of the numbers that were called this month were, what, two and 19. 19 was um, five hours, that's, that's my goal, is five hours, um, on a new start, which conveniently was Modern Folk Embroidery. So I did my five hours on that, I did more than that, but you know, I, I, I finished that. And then my two, my number two was, um, five hours on Jane Reese. Now, if you watched before, Jane Reese was my 2020 birthday start. I did not do a 2021 birthday start. Why? Because I looked at my 2020 birthday start and realized I barely worked on it <laughs> the entire year. So it seemed a little foolish, more than a little foolish, to start another one. So I decided that this year I'm actually going to work on it um, a lot. And here is my progress on it right now. When I picked this up, this month. I had gotten through here. So I had all, all this alphabet, all these alphabets to here. So none of, none of this. I have gone all the way down the side um, and all the way across so that I could cut the piece out. So I did all of this. Um, I have played about 14 hours. My, my goal is five. But this has been very easy for me to stitch on this last week, um, and I need it easy. And I'm loving it. 
I am using a Vicki Clayton's um, silk. It is the numbers. Uh, it's a it's a variegated thread with six two one one, six two one three, and six two one five. I think those were her. Oh my god. Um, oh my god. Red colorways. Um, it is it is an older silk that I've had since. Um, for ages, I've had it for ages because I've wanted to do this one for ages, and I finally started it in 2020 for my birthday, and that didn't work on it. So this year I'm going to work on it. It is uh, one of my four major pieces that I am trying to work on every month. I will get to that in a moment. But I'm feeling really, really, really happy with the progress that I have made um, this week. This is now going to go away for the rest of the month, and I will pull it out in February. But gorgeous. Loving it. It's living in this cute little foxy bag because I think the fox is cute. And my last cross stitch whip. Yes. <laughs> As I look around going, is that true? Is this my last cross stitch whip? Yes, my last cross stitch whip that I've been working on is living in here. It is my current 24 7 piece. This is. Blackwork Dragon by Dragon Dreams, and I am doing it on some sort of green fabric. How convenient is that? Uh, Sugar Maple Fabrics uh, Tranquility. It's a 32 count linen, and I am using a variegated Vicky Clayton silk. And I have been working on this a half hour every day or 24 minutes every day. I have worked on it today as well. I am enjoying this. There's no way that I would work on this piece without it being a 24-7 piece because I'm not really a fan of black work, as this dragon has proven to me. I am not a big fan of it. It's okay. I don't mind taking it in small chunks, but large chunks and I just would not enjoy it. So taking it in small chunks, I actually enjoy it. I get a little bit done every single day and yeah, I'm enjoying it. Um, We'll see how long this takes me. It doesn't really matter because it's my 24 seven piece. It takes me uh, 24 minutes a day, every day. And when I finish it, I finish it. And then I grab another piece that I've started that is languishing. But I am actually very much enjoying it. I think it looks sweet. No clue what I'm gonna do with it when I'm done. Originally, when I had bought this, <laughs> I was going to stitch it up and put it up on my son's wall because he really liked dragons. But that was before he was a full-grown adult and college grad. <laughs> now he's not so much into dragons. Oh well. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it languished for many, many, many years. <laughs> so that is the end of my cross-stitch whips. But I do have knitting whips. Two main ones. Um, like I said, most of my uh, knitting was done on gifts and those have all been given. But I have pulled out my Cozy Fade Cardi. Let me, let me get it all organized. I pulled this out again. Last time I was working on it, I was, and I showed you guys, I was here. This was cute little, little cow stitch marker is. So I have finished the body. So the body is completely finished and now I am working on the first sleeve. I'm loving it. I think the colors are just freaking gorgeous and right now I'm going to move my happy little stitch marker cow. So you can see I've done done quite a bit of this because you know, I'm going to move my cow to so that we will know how much progress I make next time. Hopefully next time I show this, um, next month probably, I, I'm not gonna work on this. I probably will work on this again this month, but not, not right away. But I'm hoping to get the arms done pretty soon. Mm, excuse me, hiccup, pretty soon. I am using four skeins, or four colors, uh, from Dragon Horde Yarn. They are, hmm, I don't know if I have their names. It's what? Book Boyfriend, Wood Woes, Wind Cleaver, and 
something else. I don't remember, but Dragon Horde Yarns in her fairy tale DK weight. And I absolutely love it. Like I said, this is the Comfort Fade Cardi, Cardi by Andrea Mowry. I am using the Cold Four Needle and following all the directions. I think it is fading gloriously and I cannot wait to wear it. I am doing um, a few less decreases on the sleeves because I know the sleeves are a little bit tight for some people. So I am doing a few less right at the beginning. Loving it though. This, this yarn is absolutely scrumptious and squishy and glorious and the pattern is super easy. I love it. So I've been working on that and then this past week Um, this past week, I have been working on my cozy memory blanket, because it's easy. <laughs> Let's see, where did I live off? Last time I showed this, I was through that green square. So I've done all of that. And then all of that. So this has gotten some some decent progress. I have removed my stitch marker from the green and I will put it on this weird tealy colored one. And there it goes. So I have it's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big blanket, but I want it much, 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 much bigger <laughs> because I, I want it to be cozy and snuggly and yeah. So eventually it'll be a finished blanket. I will probably at the very, very end do an I-cord edge around the whole thing to kind of give it a, a finished look whenever that will be. And that will probably just be in an undyed, an undyed fingering. But these are just wonderful scraps. Um, most of them are from Row One. I use, I get their minis every month because I love Row One minis. They are fantastic. But I've just been using lots of them just as they come. There's no rhyme or reason to how I'm, I'm doing the, the colors. It's just grab a bag of Row One minis, open the bag, and start, start in. So it is gloriously scrappy and that pleases me but it is still too small for my liking and that will change by adding more to it amazing and yeah I don't even remember what what size needles I'm doing I, I know nothing this is just a lovely piece that I enjoy working on that is pretty much everything that I have been working on. Not too shabby, I don't think. Especially, you know, for a month. But we're going to be back to the two weeks. I promise we're going to be back to the two weeks. I'm here now. I'll be back in two weeks again. So that is, that is all that. And now we're going to move on to a little bit of stash. I'm not going to show everything because I had... A couple of um, advent boxes and I had the nice list box and that's just way too much to show so I'm just gonna show a couple of things I have my um, December 2021 McMullen fiber um, gallery yarn that was based on this no nah, it just rolled around my legs this lovely lovely piece of art and this is the glorious skein that they did from it. And this is their Posh Skinny, which is a MCN, so it's a cashmere merino nylon fingering weight. And it is gorgeous. There's also like 630 yards on here, which means this has to be some sort of glorious shawl or scarf or cowl or something. But it's beautiful, 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 and I love it. 
and yes. Other thing that I got in the mail was January's Farmer's Daughter's Fiber Sock Squad color. So this is the color for January and it is named Melodious Meadowlark. So pretty. I'm trying to figure out some sort of bee themed sock. <laughs> So I'm, I'm kind of trying to find some sort of bee themed sock because I think that would just be fun to make this into some sort of bee themed designed sock or something. Um, I am continuing to do them this year obviously because this is the 2022 January color. I love their yarns. This is their Pinter, Pin, P-I-N-L-T-E-R sock base, which is their um, merino nylon. I can't say that word today, so I'm not going to try. I very much enjoy Farmer's Daughter's Fibers socks, I mean their yarns, um, their sock yarn is great. I've tried some of their other yarns, they are all fantastic. I love them, 100%. Other than that, ah, my very last yarnable, which was this one, this was December's and it was called Grape Crush. I did cancel this one because I just... I don't use them. They're glorious colors. I absolutely adore them, but they have piled up, not getting used, and the colors are way too pretty to not be used, so I figured I would open up my space to somebody else who might actually knit with them, and maybe, maybe eventually I will get back to the Yarnable boxes and um, subscribe to them again once I work through some of these, but for now, it made more sense to let somebody else get the joy of collecting those yarns and using them. The last thing I got is many, many, many months ago, I backed a Kickstarter. I've backed this Kickstarter a couple of times. It is this Kickstarter. And I backed for the 100% cashmere. And I bought, and it, it arrived. It arrived. So I have this many in the plum. This is 100% cashmere. And those two in the green. I have plans for this. I don't know exactly what sweater this is going to be, but this is going to be a colorwork sweater. Obviously, you can see which color is going to be the main color, and you can see which color is going to be the colorwork. Um, I do not know exactly, like I said, which sweater this is going to be, but I, there are several, there are several that I think this would just be glorious in. I just need to figure out which one is, which one it will be. And so that will happen hopefully later this year. Because, oh my God, look at that plum color. It is freaking, uh, it's so amazing. I don't even have words for it. So I backed this, like I said, earlier, early, early in 2021. I said this year because I don't know what year it is. Early in 2021, I backed this on Kickstarter. I have backed this, this person before and gotten their yarns and they do camel and goat and yak and cashmere and just lovely yarns. And I know their, um, their practices are decent and um, they, they, they get everything to you. And I, yeah, this is what I did for this year's. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh my God, I love it. Eventually, that will turn into a glorious sweater. Not sure when. Hopefully this year. Or at least hopefully this year will be started. Yeah. 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 I think that is pretty much all the haul. There's not much else I need to show you. I didn't really get a lot of things, which is good. Um, I have plans this year to stick to a, a strict budget. Um and hopefully just buy um, yarns, not yarns, less on the yarn buying, and buy threads, there's the word, threads to kit up some of the patterns that I already have, and um, less patterns. Though, I did have to buy the fox and the swan from Cottage Garden Samplings, I think it is, because, holy crap, I loved both of them. So I did buy those. I, I'm, I decided to just go all in and just get all of them for the year. Um, 
I'm in love with that fox, I'm in love with that swan. They're gorgeous, and I want them, so that is my plan. I probably will not start them until 2023, because I want to have them all and figure out how I want to lay them out. But, oh, ah, yeesh. I saw, who was it, um, Jessie Marie does stuff, um, I saw her working on the fox, and I swear that's what just pushed me over the edge. I'd seen the fox before, and I was like, oh, yeah, it's really pretty, but I don't, I don't need it, I don't need it. And then I saw her working on her fox, and I went, maybe I do need it. It's gorgeous. Oh my god, I really, oh, I think I might need that. And then I saw the swan, and I went, I gotta buy it. Um, my sister gave me a gift card, and I did spend it on a couple of charts, which will be showing up later. I'll show them when they show. But yeah, I'm, this is going to be a try and reduce, reduce, buy less, play with what I have kind of year. And that is all the crafting that I have done. Yes. Yes, it is. I thought I had something else to show, but if I did, I do not know. I do not know where it went. Oh, I think I was going to show my Christmas gift from my bosses and I forgot to. I forgot to grab it. They got me a Hohi Locatelli bag. It's the, the small little um, BA bag, I think is what they're called. Oh, it's gorgeous. Black. And they got me a skinny yarn and the sweetest little card and a chocolate bar. Mm. My bosses are fantastic. I absolutely love them. They are the best. They are good people. My old bosses from my other store that I used to work at, they, they sent me a care package earlier in the year or earlier in the month, early in December. And it was a tea and a tea mug, and the tea mug is black, and the tea was Earl Grey, and <laughs> they knew me, they know me so well, and it was very, very sweet, and uh, kind of made me cry. It was, it was very, very, very sweet. I've been very lucky in the last two places that I've worked. They have been fantastic, wonderful, amazing human beings, and I cannot say enough about how wonderful they are. Anyhow. On to life stuff. Yes, life stuff. Um, right. It's, it's been a strange year. <laughs> it was a strange end of the year for me, and it was a strange beginning of the year for me. Um, I wasn't sure I was going to talk about this on here, but yeah, heck with it, I'm going to. Um, it's pretty obvious that I'm not quite myself. A little, little hazy, hazy-headed and uh, a little vague. Um, and that would be because uh, back in October, I, I think I even commented on here, hey everybody, remember, go get your mammograms. Yeah, do, <laughs> really, really do. <laughs> because um, mine, mine found cancer. <laughs> yeah. So back in October, I had my annual mammogram, which I hadn't had in a couple years because of COVID. And I had to go back for many, many, many appointments. Um, diagnostics and ultrasounds and then biopsies and then more biopsies and then for the heck of it a few more biopsies and uh, what ended up happening was they diagnosed uh, breast cancer which well that's shitty ain't it not a fan do not like so this year um, on the 6th I had surgery to have the cancer removed and uh, our hospitals out here in the Pacific Northwest are um, getting filled with uh, lots of people. And they almost, they, they were canceling, I think they said 80% of their surgeries the day that I went in, and they were only doing surgeries that they thought they could um, not delay and also were not going to end up in a hospital bed overnight. I qualified for that. Luckily, I did not have to stay in the hospital overnight. And my surgery um, did happen. I, uh, had a lumpectomy, and um, I feel like hell. <laughs> um, I've never really had surgery before. Uh, this is my first real surgery, so yay. Uh, the only other surgery I've ever had in my life was my wisdom teeth out, which doesn't really count. <laughs> that was when I was really, really young, too. So, right. Um, had had that surgery on on the 6th I'm still recovering I'm very dizzy and I feel like hell and I feel very sick and I'm in lots of pain it's not very fun do not recommend however do recommend if your doctors tell you you need it <laughs> kind of rather would be feeling like this than you know cancer 
hopefully when all the tests come back from what they removed that there are no surprises. Um, if there are no surprises, then I can um, just have radiation and hopefully that will be it. That'll be it. And that'll be the end of it and I won't have to worry about anything anymore. Well, not quite true because... Well, not quite true, but, but mostly. Mostly won't really have to worry about anything for a while. Once, once that's all done and they give me the go-ahead and to say, hey, yeah, we got everything. Killed it all. It's all great. And then I won't have to worry about things so much. Uh, if surprises come out, then, well, I'm sure my surgeon will tell me different things. <laughs> I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Really, I'm hoping that doesn't happen. But, yeah, that's, that's why I've been a little odd in this particular episode. Um, I am exhausted. <laughs> I, I wanted to see if I could get this done today. I think I can. I set everything up and then I took a nap <laughs> and then I came out and I filmed and now I'm going to go take another nap and take, put everything away, probably take another nap <laughs> and then I'll edit and upload and probably take naps during all of that too because um, I'm exhausted. Other than that, I had a good Christmas. My sister was up from New Mexico, like I said. Um, it was wonderful to see her. I wish I could have seen more of her. I wish she had more time. I wish she lived closer. I spent time with my mother, who is a wonderful person. And um, yeah, my, my husband and son are here. So I have lots of people taking care of me. I have some really great friends who are making sure that I'm doing all right. I have amazing bosses that are ridiculously phenomenal and great co-workers so um, I'm feeling very very lucky this year and I hope that I don't know I, I hope that things um, continue to go well. I, I have some vague plans and solid plans for my stitching and my crafting um, there are four main projects that I want to work on every month to try and get them done. One is my modern folk embroidery. So every month it comes out, I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm just going to go right to plans, you know, kind of. I, I might switch how those two things happened in the video. I don't know. <laughs> it got too personal there, so I'm going to retreat back to the cross-stitching <laughs> the plans because it got too personal. I'm freaking out. Um, so I'm going to work on that. I'm going to work on my Anne Grimshaw, my Jane Reese, and my Maidens of the Season. Those are my four big pieces that I want to work on every year, mm -mm, every month, and get a lot done on. Um, if I finish any of them, it seems unlikely, but if I do finish any of them, I'll put one of my other big pieces in. Um, I'm also planning on still working on small pieces and my daily um, my 24 7 and all of that but I, I realized I was neglecting some of my bigger pieces and um, wanted to get get some good work into them so that is how I'm choosing to do that I've been noticing some people from um, the floss tube lands are doing a thing called kit go which man I'm kind of wishing I'd set up a kit go because I have all these wonderful things kitted up and I would love to start them so I'm gonna have to that let that percolate in the back of my head and I may have to do a kit go for for 2023 cuz oh I, mm, I I can't it'd be too it'd be too overwhelming for me to do right now but mm, man I really really kind of want to do one that just sounds fun I dang ah so I, I'm enjoying watching all the people doing their whip goes and their kit goes and all of that love it I do have my whip go it's right here horribly written this is like my my, my, my written copy I, I have a, a copy in a, an Excel spreadsheet that I'm actually working from that is easier to understand than my chicken scratches right here but I do have that and I have my, my two marked off because I did finish those for the January loving that and I do have my my project tracker right here that I am I'm doing. Um, ignore this, I've changed my mind on how I'm doing that. I'm just putting an X on each day that I work on the thing. And I like that. 
and this is just for cross stitch this is the um black needle society journal that came out in one of their boxes i'm enjoying it i i'm, I'm liking it i I am just putting in here what I'm actually stitching on daily. If I can show you, my hands are shaking. Um, I'm putting down what I'm actually stitching on. I also have um, Jen Lee's 24 hour cross stitch digital one. And in there I'm doing the, the, the hopeful plan. Like I plan out for the entire month what I want to do for the month. And then this is what I'm actually doing. And right now I'm really liking seeing how that changes. <laughs> The plans from the actual, it's very, very different, but I, I'm liking seeing how it's going, and um, I think I'm going to continue to do that through the year, and if I do, I think I will continue to do this, because it it's helping me figure out what I need, and what I want, and how I want to do things. But, I like this little planner, it's good. I wish the tabs were a little stronger, and I wish the pages were a little thicker, so that I didn't have as much bleed through from my inks um, into the the next page but it's a great little planner I'm loving it it's sweet I'm glad I got it right um, yeah <laughs> I think I shared way too much if anybody has any questions or anything please drop them in the drop you down boxy right there I'm happy to answer them um, thank you all again to all the new people that are watching I hope you continue to watch I hope we have a good year with lots and lots of crafting. I have found several new people that I am watching and loving it. I, I've been watching so many whip braids. You do not want to see my wish list. No one needs to see my wish list. Brenda and Laura's hands across the sea extravaganza show off that they did in their last, oh my gosh, my whip list just added like 12 things. I know some of them were already on my whip list, but then they're showing them and I'm, oh, I want that one too, oh, I want that one too. It's no good, people. Really no good. <laughs> and then other people, and I'm just like, ooh, I should add that. Ooh, and I should add that. Mm. And I have a feeling that, that Jen Lee, with her 222 projects that she's starting, yeah, I'm really damn sure that I'm going to be adding a few things to my wish list from her. It's going to be great. I'm going to try and buy less, but oh my god, my wish list is going to explode exponentially. I just, I, I see it. It's how it's going to be. But I'm here for it, and I'm loving it. Because if I cannot craft vicariously through all of you, what's the point? What is the point? I craft myself. I will craft vicariously through all of you. Life is fantastic. Life is fantastic. This is why we are all here, cheering each other on and letting everybody like everything that they like. I will be back in two weeks, hopefully feeling a lot better. Hopefully feeling lots, lots better. And I wish all of you as good of health as you can have right now. And may your mental, emotional selves be taken care of in healthy ways. I love y'all. Thank you. I will see you in two weeks. Bye-bye. It's time for a serious nap. Good night.